Child, I hope everybody in this fool's area has seen this episode of Cheetah. So they already know when they see this fool face or that big ski ball head to beware his ass. It's your favorite, favorite auntie Momo, and I'm back with another episode review of Cheetahs, y'all. Baby, this is Dewana and D. D, you ain't shit. Before we get into this review, y'all, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Before you leave, let me know you stopped by, give me a thumbs up, and then make sure your notifications are turned on so you already know when I drop that hot fire. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, this episode right here was good, but D, you ain't shit. I'm sorry. I said I wasn't gonna cuss so much, but I say that every time, and I just got, D, you ain't shit. Hopefully, y'all are ready for this review. Y'all got y'all drink. I already got my Cayman Jack margarita. Let's keep key, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into this review, because I'm ready to give it to y'all. So, let's get on up into it, y'all. Y'all, so we got Dewana. She's 43. Her boyfriend is D. He's 39. They've been together for four years, lived together and all that, right? Now, she says over the last few months that he's been acting strange. He's been um, showing a lot of strange behavior. They are not intimate no more like they used to be. It was a couple of times during the week. Now, it's maybe once or twice. He's starting to change his whole ways. He went from being a mature guy that, you know, she loved and adored. Now, all of a sudden, he's acting like a kid. He just ain't you know, acting the same. Now, she says that he just proposed to her on Christmas. Now, this will be her second marriage. She's already been married before. She's been hurt before. She don't want to go through that same old bullshit again. He promised her that he wasn't going to be like that. Now, she hurt. You know what I'm saying? She crying already, and they ain't even start the damn investigation just yet. Because she already know, if I find out some shit is wrong, I'm going to cut this nigga. And I ain't a killer, but don't push me. I cut this nigga. I swear to God, I cut this nigga. So she already going through before they even start the goddamn investigation. I'm like, girl, if you already feel like something, sir, you 43. You already know the game. Come on now. So they start the investigation at this fool's job, right? They out there watching people in the scene. Check, 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 checking it out. This chick pulls up in a black car. She gets up out the car. He comes out his job, comes and greets her, gives her a hug, little smooch, this, that, and the other. Sends her around to the side door of the building of his job. He then goes inside the front door. He goes back in his job, right? A little while later, they both end up coming out the side of the of his job, the same side door that he sent her in, right? They end up coming out the side door. He walks her to her car. He's like a real, you can tell he's a ladies' man. He's real playful and real joking with her and all that. You can tell he's real charming, right? So he like plays with her, kisses her, slaps on her butt and all of that shit, sends her on her little old way or whatever, right? So the next day they have another another little investigation. She comes, picks him up this time. They end up going to Sonic, getting something from Sonic. They end up going back to his job, same routine. He goes in, sends her around to the side door, goes in, they're in there for a while. She ends up coming back, going back to her car. So she like a little lunchtime, little afternoon delight or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So Chashi ends up picking him up another time for lunch. They end up going, getting something to eat. This time they end up going on like a little date, a little picnic at the cemetery. They're walking hand in hand, lovey-dovey, walking through the cemetery. It was just kind of weird. Like, why would y'all go to the cemetery or whatever for the day? But once again, she after she picks him up, they go on a little lunch date. She drops him back off at work. They chill for a little bit, and then she goes on her way. Like I said, she at the noon delight. You know what I'm saying? She come get it in, and then she goes on about her little low way. So, y'all, they end up meeting up with Dewana the next day, letting her see all the footage, everything that they found out, right? So, they're like, look here. This, you know, of course, she's crying. She's upset. They're like, well, what you want to do? Because we just so happen to know that he's with the chick right now. Y'all, excuse me. I just had some ice cream, and it's so goddamn good. Who I can't raise? <laughs> my bad, my bad. 
But um, they're like, well, you know, he's with the chick right now. She is at his job. What we can do, we can go up there and we can surprise his ass right goddamn now. She's like, y'all, you already know I'm bad at battle. Let's goddamn go. Child, they end up going to this fool's job, busting in on there. They're on their little lunch date, like always, busting. Mind you, bitch, it is Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. He got the side piece up there at his job having a little Valentine's dinner, I mean, Valentine's lunch with her. Child, they bust in there. He got like a little teddy bear, flowers, roses, all that. They sitting at the little old table, had them some little old Sonic, little, little, little cheese dolls, little hamburgers and tater tots and shit. I said, are you for real? Child, he looked completely shocked. She bust in there. She was like, hey, baby, what's going on? Happy Valentine's Day. So, uh, is this why you said you wanted to take me out for Valentine's later? You don't want to do something early because you're here with your side chick? Like, what the hell is going on with that? This nigga was so goddamn shocked. He was like, uh, uh, can we take this shit outside? Uh, this is my motherfucking job. This is why I make my goddamn paper. Uh, girl, we can't do this shit up in here. She like, no, we going to do this right now. And what was up with the whole little cemetery? Like, what the hell is you at the cemetery for? The side chick, her name is Bree. Child, she says, uh... Well, we went there to put some flowers out there for his mom. You know, we went out there visiting his mom. This nigga, uh, Joanna say, this nigga mama not dead. Her birthday was last weekend. You done lied about your goddamn mama being dead. Took a side piece to the cemetery. Who's pr whose tombstone was you praying over, nigga? It wasn't your mama's. This nigga lied. Child, next thing you know, this fool D takes off running out his damn job. She's just running behind him, goddamn the one. Nigga, you come here. Bring your ass here. You got to bring your goddamn ass home. She running behind him. When she catch up to him, pop him, slapping him up against his goddamn bald head. Finally, he goes, runs in through another side of his job, through the little side door, tries to duck down and hide. The camera, Dewan and Clark, everybody knocking on the door, talking about, nigga, open the door. We know you in there. They look through the side window. This nigga ducking down, trying to hide. Like they ain't gonna see him. Clark is like, nigga, is you really in there trying? Nigga, we see you. Hey, bring the camera over. Look at this stupid ass nigga. They can see him clear as day, trying to duck down and hide like a dumbass. Finally, he like, hey, I open up the door, let y'all in. She don't put her hands on me. She don't put her hands on me. I'm good. I, I, I open the door, I let y'all in. This nigga opens the door, let them in. Of course, they bum rush in there where he's at. She mad. Clark is like, you ain't got no explanation what's going on. This fool D gonna say, oh, Brie wonder she was a fresh little side piece. This fresh little side piece. That's it. She didn't mean nothing. Goddamn, Dewana, I'm glad she said it like, that's disrespectful to her for you to even say that. But she is old big booty heifer. That's what you want? Old big booty heifer? I'm like, well, damn. Why you gotta talk about it like that? That's fucked up. Child, next thing you know, this fool, Dewana, is mad. She starts picking up the food, takes a couple of bites of the fries, starts throwing the fries at his ass, picks up a damn drink, throws the whole damn drink. It looked like it was a chair line made, too. I said, oh, bitch, now I want to fight you. You don't waste no good-ass goddamn chair line made with your dumb ass. Throws that whole drink on him. Then she gets ready to throw the burger. She's like, but you know what? I'm going to keep this burger. Mm-hmm. Happy Valentine's Day to me. I'm like, bitch, I know that's right. You better not throw no good-ass goddamn burger. She threw that drink on that fool D. This nigga D instantly went from cool, he was somewhat cool, to he went to straight nigga. He said, oh, <laughs> y'all better get this, bitch, because I'm finna cut him. <laughs> he got mad. This nigga picked up the other burger, chunked and plopped. Wow, hit this bitch in the head with the burger. It was so goddamn funny. She said, oh, motherfucker, no, you didn't. She hiked back through that other burger. Come on, Cletus. Come on, goddamn Cletus. I said, Cletus, come on, goddamn, because that bitch won't you. She won't you. It was so goddamn funny. That shit was so goddamn funny. Afterwards, D say, look here. I'm down with the bitch. I'm going to go and hold on with the side piece. You ain't even worth the drama. You ain't worth none of that. He starts throwing food at her. She throwing food at him. Bitch, it's a motherfucking food fight. These fools is out there having a damn food fight in his job. Finally, his boss is like, hey, y'all take this shit out, child. Y'all get the fuck on up out of here. He like, hey, y'all heard my boss? Y'all get out. It's been nice. It's been real. Y'all can't stay here, but you got to goddamn go. Get the hell on up out of here. Clark is like, hey, man, you don't feel bad for any of this? 
you don't feel like any of this is your fault. This is something that you need to talk about with her. You're like, hey, I don't need to talk about nothing. Hopefully, she get in her right mind. She give me my goddamn ring back. It's been nice, but y'all got to get the hell on up out of here. She like, deuces. I'm out. I don't want your ass no way. Now, you would have worked it out with his ass. Had he not snapped back on your ass after you threw that goddamn cherry lime made on his ass. Bitch, I'd have snapped at your ass too. That's a good ass goddamn cherry lime made. I seen the shit come flying up out that goddamn drink. Ooh, girl. But, y'all, she gets in the van. Clark is riding back with her. He was like, okay, so what's your plans now? What do you think you're going to do? She's like, I'm single. Fuck him, girl. Fuck him. She said she finna go put her freaking dress on. It's goddamn Valentine's Day. And she finna go out and enjoy herself on Valentine's Day, baby. Y'all, the episode ended from now. I'm not lying about nothing that went on. You don't believe me? It's in the damn description box below. Go on, check it out. Get your drinks. Come back if it was anything that I missed. Y'all already know. Let's key key about it. Drop it down in the comments and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Elbow bump on them hoes. Eon. Mm -hmm.